Those folks moving to Stockton are making a whole lot of sense, y'all. I'd move there myself if my work didn't keeps me here. Don't be discouraged, Titans. The city might be in ruins, but it still has the greatest attraction of all. Us! We just need to remind the world that living in Jump City gives you a front row seat to the Teen Titans feats of heroism! Oh, I very much wish to show the feats. <laughs> flappy, flappy, flappy. But how are we gonna get that message out to the entire world? The only way I know how. A website. Titans, come! Yo? I can almost make out an image. Its many colors and music are quite the hypnotic. Play the video. Welcome to Jump City. Most of our landmarks have been destroyed. But this city boasts an attraction more impressive than any wonders of the world. The, the Teen Titans. Titans! That's right. Come to Jump City and see the world's favorite superhero team. And don't forget to visit the best place in the city, Titan's, Titan's Tower! Titan's Tower is private property. No trespassing violators will be prosecuted. That's right, fools! We will prosecute! Yeah! Awesome! <laughs> Titans, we did it! People around the globe are seeing how great Jump City is! Get ready, because here comes the Citizen Stampede! <laughs> I'm going to rub me some residence. Yeehaw! Ain't that number supposed to be getting bigger? <laughs> Our amazing website wasn't enough. Oh, the no, the no, the no! Oh, please, the numbers go up! Up, please! We failed, Titans. With no citizens to protect, we are no longer heroes. Then, this is the end of the Teen Titans. It's gonna be hard to say goodbye to this beautiful city. <laughs> And all them things we blew up in it. <laughs> like the stadium. And the Krabby Beach. Uh -oh. Titans, could it be everyone left because of us? Yeah, <laughs> well, that's just sure. preposterous. It's my birthday! Woo! Oh, 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 we gotta get go out! <laughs> Good morning, Titans. <laughs> Why is you wearing that pin, fool? Because today is my birthday. No, it's not. Shh. And I, the original party animal, am having a party. One for Cyborg, and one for Starfire, and one for Raven, and nothing for you! Hey, it's the same time as Beastie's party. Oh my, that will make it difficult for you to choose which party to attend. But choose you must. I uh, choose the Beast Boy. Wait, wait, wait! You can't decide until you hear all the details of my birthday bash. It will be hosted here, in the spacious living room. And where's I supposed to have mine? Kitchen. Oh. My party will also have not one, but two birthday cakes. And if that's not enough, I've also invited a special guest. Hey there, gang. Bob Uecker. Who's Bob Uecker? Who's Bob Uecker? Who's Bob Uecker? He's the former professional baseball player who played six seasons in the majors before going on to have a successful career as a sportscaster and actor, starring in many iconic film and TV roles, including Harry Doyle in Major League and George Owens on Mr. Belvedere. Oh, that Bob Uecker. I've paid him to be at my party for several hours. The contract's for 75 minutes. Bob, I have a very important question to ask you about Mr. Belvedere question. No, Kevin did not grow up to be Marilyn Manson. You're thinking of that nerd from Wonder Years. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. That all sounds real nice. Blech. But at my party, I was going to have Tony Rice. Oh, oh, no! He's the best thing ever! He's not as big as a horse! You can't ride a Bob Uecker. Oh, can't I? Come on, Mr. Baseball! Oh. Yeah! Yeah! <gasps> Is you gonna let him do you like that, Bob Uecker? It's in the contract. Uh, hey, no fair! Arr, my 
mateys! How be the view from the bow, coxswain? Right as rain, captain! And how be the sails, bosun? They be hanging well, captain! And what be the status from the poop deck? Not a poop in sight, captain! And we are well on our way to victory, lads! Ship approaching, starboard side. <laughs> Aww, that's pretty adorable. Come on, dude. How can you not want her on a team? Look, I'm not willing to mess with the format of the Titans. I like our chemistry the way it is. <laughs> We're under attack! No, we are under the tree. I forgot. We're in the woods. Haha, <laughs> pirates in the forest. How dumb! <laughs> We'll be feeding you to the fishies, Hive! Yeah, right. Later, Lamos. <laughs> you guys need a hand? How are you going to help? She is so positive. Which is why she would never make a good Titan. Friend Robin, look! She has the heart of the sixth Titan. For the last time, there can't be a sixth Titan! Why not? Because six be a curse. What are you even talking about? There be no good teams with six members. Three amigos, four Ghostbusters, five Spice Girls, seven dwarves, eight planets, nine ladies dancing, ten fingers and ten toes. The list goes on and on. But nowhere on that list be a team of six. Because there are none. Teams of six be unnatural. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. I was able to- Out of the way. Now. Let's show the hive. We be the most degenerate pirates this forest wilderness has ever seen. Ah! Hear her! Blow them to smithereens, me hearties! Ah! Board that canoe, ye scurvy dogs! Ah! shall never again sail the seven seas, land lover. This isn't the sea. We're in the forest. For the plank with ye! Ah! Ah! Oh, man. What kind of peoples am I going to be without my best friends? Stick it, Joe! <laughs> Hmm, I got me an idea. Whoa, sticky! <laughs> I'm gonna learn to be my own peoples by being Sticky Joe! What up? Mm. Oh, I mean, howdy! <laughs> It now? It doesn't matter what you're wearing on the outside because howdies come from the heart. And if your howdies are true, you'll never be blue. <laughs> Howdy. Stick it, Joe. You is a bohemian treasure. <laughs> How did it go, Star? I failed to sell the single box. I fear I shall never become the successful business alien princess. If you want to be a business alien's princess, then you got to work on them business alien skills, yo. What are these skills of which you speak? They're written right here on the box. Decision making, people skills, and business ethics. Do you truly believe I could learn of these skills of the business? Of course, and we can all help teach you. Joy! 
Learning business. The first skill you need to learn is decision making. Quick, make a decision about anything. I. Too late. You already found the lesson. <sighs> you need to act on your decisions quickly and firmly. Puppies or kittens? Which you say? I. Uh, the, the kitties. They are so adorable. But but so are the puppies. Oh, I cannot decide. <laughs> Okay, Star, let's get to work on those people skills. The thing about peoples is, they's dumb. All you gotta do is put them at ease with some good eye contact, lighten the mood with the fun conversation, or blow their feeble minds with a magic trick. What? Now, let's try a little role play. I'll be the customer, you two sell me cookies. What up, my mans? Good afternoon. That's some good eye contact right there. Putting you at ease, ain't I? I'm getting there. Okay, mama, now you join in. Would you like to buy of the cookies? What? How dare you? That's too soon. Now I got to grease this food with some magic. Hey, dummy, pick a card. Oh, I see how it is, pretending to be my friend so you can sell me cookies. So what? I'm just trying to wet my beak. I demand to speak with your supervisor. Well, I ain't giving you his name. The third and final skill you'll need to learn is business ethics. What are the ethics of the business, Robin? Basically, it means that there are a lot of rules and laws that cannot be broken. Uh, and therefore, you should do whatever you can uh, to succeed in the business world uh, uh, while staying within the confines of the law. Uh, uh. For instance, while at a family gathering, your brother-in-law informs you that his company uh, is about to make a major technological breakthrough. Uh, while acting on this tip could make you rich, uh, uh, you refrain from buying the stock uh, because this information uh, gives you an unfair advantage uh, uh, over other potential investors. Uh, 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 uh. Ah! What are you doing? You are having the eye problems. No! I was trying to guide you through the shady practices of the business world. Uh! Absolutely not! Now get your onesies back on! Aww. Remember, Titans, our priority is Dark Side. So what? We just have to sit here bored? These space adventures are never boring. This ship has a multitude of gentle, intellectual sci-fi activities to tantalize the mind. Follow me. We can meet our evil doubles in the Reflection Universe. We're the evil versions of you. You can tell by our facial hair. Facial hair be so evil, yo. The more ha 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 ha. The sci-fi concept of parallel universes and opposite versions of ourselves. Tell me that doesn't get you all fired up. Pass. Look at these adorable alien creatures. Who wants to listen to their soothing purr? Oh yes, that's some good purring. Pass. We can study the habits of space babes. They look exactly like humans, but they're green. The past. I'm actually uh, <clears throat> kind of down with this. Me too. I was also green as it were. The past. I suppose no one wants to become immersed in a virtual reality hologram chamber, limited only by your imagination? Ooh, that actually sounds cool. Really? You think something on this space adventure sounds cool? Oh yeah, boy, we love some virtual realities. Great. Then prepare to enter a world of wonder. Computer, recreate 19th century London. Come on, man! What? You can create anything imaginable, and you pick 19th century London? The London?! I'm so mad right now! This is an opportunity to adopt carefully cultivated personas in order to solve the murder of Lady Hathaway. I'm Lord Bismarck Wellington, a moderately successful textile manufacturer. <laughs> How about we do something interesting instead? Yo, 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 computer, listen up. I want you to make a fire monster. Now we're talking. Oh, what if we gave him two butts? Yeah, computer, you heard my man. Give me a fart monster with two booties. Computer, do not create a fart monster with two booties. Aww. Now please, everyone get into character. Over there is our main suspect. <laughs> if we can't stop him, he will get away with this. Raven, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what is that? Lady Hathaway is counting on us to avenge her. <laughs> I think that fart monster's got that covered, bruh. <laughs> 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 the hologram chamber is not to be used for low-brow entertainment. Computer, fire axe, please. <laughs> they couldn't defeat Billy Zabka with that garbage. Oh man, them karate moves we learned in the montage ain't working. How could doing the shortcuts have left us so the unprepared? It's the montages! Don't you see what's happened, Titans? Sounds like you're gonna tell us. Yes, I will explain in full detail how we came to this point and why your use of montages was a mistake. This will take a while. We ain't want to listen to a long explanation. Ooh, I have the idea for the shortcuts. Wait, if you just listen... Montage! Double montages! Now listen up. Raven, you only cleaned the part of the window we saw you clean in the montage. Cyborg, all you did was pretend to tighten some bolts. Beast Boy, the computer you were typing at doesn't even work! And Starfire, you only learned three words of French. Oh, I see now. Anything we skip past doing in our montage never actually got done. It was just the illusion of results, but real results come from real work. We see now, there are none of the shortcuts. And we owe you the apology. No time! We still have to stop Kataro! But how can we possibly defeat him? With a crane kick. Uh, we never learned how, remember? I'll teach you properly this time. How will we learn it in time to defeat the Kataro? With another filmmaking device that is all. It's another way to show the passage of time without the flashiness of a montage. Can we get on with this? Don't worry, Kataro. We're going to defeat you very, very slowly. Oh. Okay, since this is our first crane kick class, please introduce yourselves and tell us why you're here. Let's start off with some basic no. stretches. No! Why is this taking so long? No shortcuts. Ugh. Fine, just hurry up. How long have we been doing this, Beast Boy? Point the toes, point the toes! <laughs> Almost there, Titans. Congratulations, Titans! You perfected the crane kick and did it without shortcuts! The time has come, Kataro! Titans, go! behind this plot, I need to get onto the field. Hey, man, I just gotta get out there and leave it all in the field. What? You don't think I'm a pro football player, even though I look exactly like one? Don't make me tackle you, bro. Okay, man, I tried to warn you. Cyborg, Starfire, start stalling! How will we slow down the game? By handing out lots of pointless penalties. Ah, uh, the yes, just like the normal game of the football. stopping the game and nobody cares. Hopefully Robin has found the something by now. Defense! 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 Any leads yet? Uh, I need more. 
more time. Upon the penny, one can make the wish, which is then granted by the power of the first and only genie president of the United States. Genie president? Yes! The genie president Abraham and Turkey Sandwich Lincoln. His tale is the tragic one. Even though he is the all-powerful genie, he could not grant himself the one wish he most desired. To grow the upper lip mustache hair. And upon the rear of the magical penny is the image of his favorite cake. That's the Lincoln Memorial. Yes, the memorial to his favorite cake. I believe it is the carrot flavor. Don't be ridiculous, Starfire. It's red velvet. Mm, looks like dark chocolate to me. Nah, it's definitely coconut, yo. Titan. Coconut? Where you getting coconut from? Uh, hello? Maybe it's that good angel food. Listen to me. Could be pineapple upside down cake. Stop arguing about what kind of cake the Lincoln Memorial is made of. I showed you this penny because I've discovered something incredible. Shh. Listen closely. The metals used to make a penny are worth 50% more than the penny itself. <laughs> 50%! Do you know what that means? No. Not really. While a penny's value as currency is one cent, the raw materials that comprise a penny are actually worth 1.5 cents. Therefore, two pennies are not worth two cents, but rather three cents. So Hughes is saying a penny is worth more than a penny? That don't make no sense. I never knew pennies were so valuable. I've been just throwing mine away. That's because no one knows the true value of the humble penny, except us. Here's the plan, Titans. We are going to collect the world's unwanted pennies, melt them down, and sell the raw materials back to the government for a huge profit. Let's get the pennies, y'all! Hey, Rich! Friends, no! We cannot destroy the pennies. You're worried about defacing official currency, which is a valid concern. That is not my concern. I mean, Starfire's right. Defacing currency is a federal crime. No, that is not what I meant. And I ain't want to get in a tangle with the government over this scheme, yo. You are not the listening. I assure you, we are on solid legal ground. Take a look at this. Souvenir coin machines are built for the sole purpose of defacing pennies. And they're perfectly legal. Sounds like a bulletproof legal defense to me. Get ready to lose your minds, because I've got something planned that will change our very lives. Can it wait? Yes, we were going to watch the new television program. It's called Toilet Cop. It's about a cop who dies in the line of duty, but scientists save him by putting his brain in a toilet. <laughs> Engaging in no such lowbrow shenanigans this evening. Behold. Opera tickets! But it's been sold out for months. How did you get these? From the creepy guy in the basement. Sing for your tickets, Robin. Sing for them. I can't believe we're going to the opera. All those good sopranos and tenors, not to mention the sweet, sweet baritones. Truly, opera is the form of musical theater which can only be appreciated by the cultural elite. We's finally gonna be peoples of sophistications, yo. That's right, Titans. Going to the opera will show the world that we appreciate the arts. Now, are you ready to experience all the excitement that Western classical music has to offer? Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Here yeah. Here. Yes. Upper crust, here we come. Oh, yeah! Checks out all my cultures, yo! These brows can't get much higher. Shh! It's starting. It's starting! Opera! 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 Oh. <laughs> People of Jump City, welcome to this year's egg hunt. There's lots of eggs to find. We's hit some real good, yo. So you best be using them peepers and get peeping. On your marks, get set, hunt. Hey! <laughs> See, Raven, nothing bad happened. And you were worried messing with the holiday would bring some kind of catastrophe. 
Now we know where the Easter Bunny came from. Wait, what about the rest of the eggs? Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! One, five, six, five, five, seven, nine, nine. Titan Robot Go! Left leg, power stop! <laughs> Left arm, rocket punch! Sorry, Raven. This is all my fault. I know. I should have listened to you. I know. Aren't you going to say, it's cool, or something? Of course not. I warned you multiple times to stop messing with the holiday, you big dope. Listen to me next time. Mm, I'll consider it. Welcome, young ones, to the Rock of Eternity! Yo, Merlin, do some magic tricks, yo! Peer into the ball of the crystal and tell me of the future. Ooh, ooh, whisper something to a moth. I do not do any of that stuff. And you call yourself a wizard. His magic is real, gang. He's the one who gave me my powers. Why did you give superpowers to a little kid? Seems irresponsible. Because he is an orphan who is pure of heart. Isn't that right, Billy? You bet I am. An orphan? Why would you pick an orphan? Well, you know. You know. Oh, that makes sense. I got you. Listen, I gave him my powers because soon I would perish. Ages ago, it was prophesied that I would be crushed by the rock of eternity. Well, yeah, you're sitting right under it. Just scoot your little chair over like six inches, bruh. You're good. But the prophecy! The scout! Hmm, fine, we'll do it. There, you're welcome. Oh, I just want to be crushed by a rock. Why can't they just let me be crushed by a rock? Yo, what's these things? Within those statues are the imprisoned spirits of the seven deadly enemies of man. Pride, envy, greed, hatred, laziness, selfishness, and injustice. Cool. Hey, who does this remind you of? Pride is not to be emulated. Laziness right here, baby. Do not compare yourselves to evil. I'm green with envy. This one's all for me, not for you. Ah! Tools. Those statues represent the worst human vices. Why did you bring them here, Billy? Ah, uh, gee whiz. I thought they could help me find Mr. Mind before he could take over the world. Oh, yeah. Where is that little rascal, anyway? Closer than you think. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Wormy Worm? Ah, oh, we loves this guy. You'll change your tune once I release the seven deadly enemies of mass upon your precious city. <laughs> 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 You must stop him, Billy. We got this, Gandalf. But to beat them, you must be pure of heart. Ah, you're adorable. Gosh, what do I do now? You deal with it. I've got bigger problems. <laughs> 